Over the years, Phytech has improved many of its products. Today, we're going to go over the LS type throttle bodies and all the improvements we have moved to with our new style cast throttle body over our older generation billet throttle body. This is Phytech's latest cast style LS throttle body. We have made multiple improvements on it and it is vastly superior than the outdated billet type throttle body. One of the biggest things that we have made changes with the LS type throttle bodies that we use now is the PCV port. With this one, we have it pointed directly up at an angle to clearance out of the throttle linkage. The old style billet throttle bodies had that port pushing directly into the throttle linkage and it made some difficulties of hooking up both a throttle linkage and a PCV port. Another thing that we've done is we've supplied a plug with it as well. So we have the vacuum uh, nipple that you could put in or the plug, both come with the kit so there's no sourcing of parts at, at a later time. Other things that we've done is with the cast design, we made the throttle body way more slim and compact. There's not a big old hunk of aluminum up at top for things to be machined into. We were able to cast it very sleekly in and then just machine out the ports to use it the way that we need it. Another big thing is the idle air port. The idle air motor goes in through the side. You'll notice on some of the billet style throttle bodies, the plug-in points straight up. We have reclocked the idle air motor so the connector plugs down for a cleaner appearance. We've also done the same with the TPS. Everything points downwards to kind of keep a clean look off the throttle body. Now, the LS throttle bodies we use in different applications like the ultra ram systems. Also on other vehicles, like if you have vacuum operated components like a cowl hood, you want to hook up certain things to ported vacuum. If you have an LS engine, it's really hard to get a ported vacuum point off of one of the billet type throttle bodies. With the Phytech cast style one, we have tucked underneath the throttle body a ported vacuum port. If this is not needed, you plug it off, but it's there if you need it for your cowl induction hood to flap, or if you're trying to do vacuum advance with one of the ultra ram systems. Other things that we've done to improve the throttle body is redesigned the throttle linkage to accept a wider range of throttle setups with different throttle brackets for clearance up top. The groove's been redesigned. We have multiple point for throttle pills to be put into the throttle linkage. So we've tried to give as many combinations off the throttle linkage to hook up as well. A few other things that have been improved is the overall footprint off of the backside where the flange is on the throttle body. We have been able to shrink down the size to make it fit even more compactly on most applications. Now internally in the throttle body there's been a couple of other improvements. The throttle shaft is cut on both sides to give a more slim profile, whereas the billet style ones had a solid round shaft. In the bottom of the throttle bodies there's even a little parabolic uh, clean out on it, so when you open the throttle, one side of the throttle blade stays shut where the top starts to open. This is done to help improve drivability with your throttle tip-in, which is a really good advantage when you're trying to have a streetable engine with a large format throttle body, especially on those 102 millimeter versions. One of the biggest improvements we made with the new style cast type throttle body is the IAC passage in it. The old billet style throttle bodies had a really big problem with whistling on tip-in and part throttle. This was all due to how that port was designed on the billet type ones that have all been addressed with the new style cast one. So when you're on part throttle, you're not gonna get any of that loud whistling like you have something going on underneath like a giant vacuum leak under the hood. So that is a summary of all the improvements we've made over time with the new style cast LS throttle body. Thank you for tuning in to this week's Tech Tuesday. If you're looking for more tech videos, please check them out at phytechefi.com.